We're told the height of the following right rectangular pyramid is 11 meters. What is the lateral surface area of the pyramid, and what is the total surface area of the pyramid? Have a go at this, and then we'll do this together. OK, so first of all, lateral surface area is the going around the sides of this three-dimensional figure, what that total surface area is. If you take that surface area, the lateral surface area, and then add it to the base right over here, the surface area of the base, then you're going to get the total surface area. So let's just start with lateral, and then we can figure out total after that. Well, to figure out lateral, we have to figure out the surface area or the area of each of these four triangular surfaces. And this being a right rectangular pyramid, we can assume that its peak, its top right over there, is right over the center of the base. Now, why does that help us? Well, this is going to help us recognize that this side over here in the back has the same surface area as this side here on the right. I guess this is on the left, this is on the right. And the side in the back, that over there, is going to have the same surface area as the side on the front, right over there. What we also know is that since this is at the center, we know that this distance is going to be half of this 10, so it's going to be 5 meters. And we know that this distance right over here is going to be half of this 6, is going to be 3 meters. So the first thing we can do to figure out the height of this right-hand side, which is going to be the same as the height of the left-hand side, is we can use the Pythagorean theorem. So how do we do that? Well, we know that 11 squared plus 3 squared is going to be equal to this height squared. Let's call this h. So we say h squared is equal to 11 squared. Try to find that same color. 11 squared plus 3 squared. And we're assuming everything is in meters. 3 squared. And so we get h is going to be equal to the square root of 121, 121 plus 9, plus 9 which is equal to the square root of 130. Square root of 130. And let's just leave it like that. And let's just assume that you can use a calculator in this and we need to round to the nearest square meter when we're all done. So it might be simple just to leave this and not try to simplify that. So that's the height of this side. And now if we want to figure out its area, we know an area of a triangle is just 1 half times base times height. So this area, let me do this in a color that you can see. This area right over here is going to be equal to 1 half. Our base is 10 times our height, which is square root of 130. So this is going to be equal to 1 half times 10 is 5. So it's going to be 5 times the square root of 130. Now, there's two surfaces with that area, the one on the right and this one that you can't see or you can only see if this is transparent on the left. So our lateral surface area, we're going to have two of those, 5 square roots of 130 plus another 5 square roots of 130. Actually, let me just write it out so you can see that I have four areas. And now let's do the front and the back. Well, what is going to be the height of this front? Well, we can use the Pythagorean theorem again to figure this out. And I don't know, let me just call that x, since I already used h. Well, we know that x squared, the hypotenuse squared, is going to be equal to this length, 5 squared. And I, we can just say that's going to be 25, plus this length, or this height, I guess I could say, 11 squared. So plus 121, plus 121. And what's 25 plus 121? That is, let's see, that's 126, 146. And so we get x is equal to 146. x is equal to, or I should say, is equal to the square root of 146. And so if I want to figure out the area of this triangle that's out there in the front, I just multiply 1 half times the base times 6 times the height times square root of 146 which is 3 times the square root of 146. So let me add that to the lateral surface area, plus 3 times the square root of 146. And then this thing in the back here, that area is going to be the same thing. So plus 3 times the square root of 146. You add it all together, we are going to get, you add these top two, you're going to get 10 times the square root of 130. You add these bottom two, plus 6 times the square root of 146. 
and we have our lateral surface area. If you wanted to have that and round it to the nearest square meter, so it's going to be in meter squared, if I were to put parentheses around it like that. And then if I wanted to figure out the total surface area, I would take, I would start with the lateral surface area. Let me start with that. And I would add the surface area of the base. And that one's pretty straightforward. The width times the depth, or the width times, yeah, we call this width times depth. Six times 10 is going to be 60 square meters. So plus 60 square meters. So this top one is lateral surface area, and then this one that includes the area of the base is total surface area.